My father died uh, suddenly and unexpectedly when I was five years old from a ruptured cerebral aneurysm. And we moved out west uh, from Virginia and two years later my mother died of stomach cancer. Her last days were spent at home uh, and her mother took care of her and we young kids, my two sisters and I, saw the horrors of end-stage cancer. Um, she suffered a great deal. I was always interested in the sciences um, and so when I got to college um, majored in chemistry uh, and then changed that subsequently to biology. I kept thinking back about my mother and my interest in helping people and that's really ultimately I think the main driving force uh, or at least it has been for me just wanting to help people. I didn't know I would actually um, go into the field of oncology and hematology until I was in my internal medicine residency. The very first day I walked into that clinic, I immediately knew I had found my home. I felt comfortable with these patients. Uh, I felt almost a strange kind of deja vu, and maybe that harkened back to my mother's illness. And I was always deeply impressed with their courage. The patients really actually won me over. Of my wife was diagnosed with cancer. So then we started coming here. Dr. Kingsley was her doctor. She had that bravery, that courage um, that, that characterizes so many of my patients. And she said, whatever it takes. That letter that he wrote was, is just something. It meant to me that he was really cared. He tried to do everything he possibly could. It, it really really gets to you, something like that, because you know, you feel it, you know, it's from the heart. I routinely will write letters to the survivors of uh, the surviving family members of my patients, but I really emphasize the fact that I know that mom or dad was and will be forever grateful for all of the support you gave them during their illness. It's an honor on my end to work with him. He's very um, humble, looks at the patient as the whole. He's a doctor's doctor here. He's the doctor that other doctors go to when they have problems and they really can't solve issues. Could be in oncology or hematology, his area. It could just be physician problems they have. He's really that respected peer. He's got a huge heart. Um, one guy needed $20 for some pills and he gave him 20 bucks out of his pocket you know, to help the guy out. So Dr. Kingsley's an institution here, so almost every protocol, every clinical care metric that we have, he's had some footprint in. Having been uh, in the field since 1980, I've seen uh, such explosive uh, progress uh, over the years, uh, I don't take it for granted. And we have seen Diseases that were once incurable now are routinely cured. Dr. Kingsley is an outstanding physician, but we can never forget the fact that he is an outstanding musician, and you should never miss an opportunity to hear him. Shortly after I arrived in Las Vegas, I became aware of um, the Nathan Allison Hospice. I, I loved the care that they provided my patients and the positive feedback I got from my patients and from their families. I uh, joined up with some of my other doctor friends, and we formed a dance band, a rock and roll band. Or there are three of us doctors on this in this band and I thought, gee, you know, there's probably a lot of other doctors who play instruments or sing, perform, uh, and maybe we could have some kind of a fundraising concert uh, that would benefit the hospice. Music, uh, it reaches the inner part of my soul in a way that very few other things do. Um, and it's tremendously soothing for me to come home after a difficult day, if I've got the strength, and sit down on the piano and just simply play.